Welcome to a healthy living video blog at workoutmaster.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a baked apple. I actually walked into the supermarket today and I saw these beautiful apples. And as you guys know, uh, well, we know also, but we live in Miami, we kind of know the fall is starting because it's kind of getting a little cooler. Uh, but everybody else that live up north, you I'm sure experiencing the cold already or somewhat of the cold. So the fall time, baked apples, excellent combination uh, what we're going to use for the baked apple today we're going to use some dates cinnamon sugar vanilla uh, and we, vanilla extract and we're going to use some butter and lemon juice uh, so since we're going to make a three big apples it's uh, Ruben Janet and me today here uh, we're going to use per uh, I'm going to tell you ingredients per um, apple so we're going to use a quarter of teaspoon of cinnamon one uh, sliced up date, uh, half a teaspoon of sugar, actually half a tablespoon of sugar, just a few drops of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of melted butter and for all three apples we're going to use a half of a, a lemon uh, squeezed out juice. It is exceptionally easy to make a baked apple. First you want to do is you want to start the oven and you want to put it at 375 and make sure it's preheated. Now we got to core the apples. We already core two and we're going to do a third one in front of the camera so you guys are going to see that we actually do it ourselves. It's not prepared anywhere in the store. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to core the apple, take the core out, uh, put it away. That's step number one. Step number two. We're going to take our butter. We already melted it. We're going to put the sugar, the dates, Come on dates, cinnamon, lemon juice, and we're actually going to open a little bit of a vanilla extract and just do a few drops of that. And we're going to mix it all in, in this delicious mixture that are going to go right inside of the core of the apple. So we're going to put the three apples that we're going to bake in the dish. We're going to take our mixture and fill up the core of the apple equally. We always uh, do things equally. We are equal opportunity employer. I actually, because the core of apple was a little bigger than I expected, uh, because the apples are pretty big. Actually, by the way, it's better to do big apples to bake them. Uh, I find that it's a lot tastier than the small apples because you just have a little bit more meat to it. And we're just going to add everything out here, fill it up, top it off. Uh, everything is going to kind of get melted and saturate the apple uh, with a flavor, which is exactly what we're looking for. Just like this. And we're going to put this in the oven at 375 degrees of Fahrenheit for, I would say, about 30 minutes. This is it guys, uh, the baked apples are ready, they smell, I can tell you, absolutely incredible. Uh, there's something about this particular dessert that when you smell it, I don't know, for some reason it reminds me of my grandma, but I don't remember my grandma making any baked apples, Ruben, so... It reminds, me, it reminds me of Christmas and Thanksgiving and the Yeah, the just holidays. something like very homey, like yeah. peace, tranquility. Excellent choice, guys. Uh, let's serve it up and see how it is. For this particular episode, guys, I used the Honeycrisp apples, and they were really big. So it did take us a longer time to cook. It took us at least an hour to get them ready. Now, the way you know that they're ready, if they start breaking up a little bit, that's mean it's ready and it's time to enjoy it. We're actually going to take some of this juice that comes out of uh, the apples when they get cooked we're gonna pour it all over back to it and uh, put a few sprinkles around it so we look nice and professional perfect this is it guys it takes about an hour to cook but guess what it's absolutely worth it every single second remember guys when you have a baked apple with some dates some cinnamon some sugar some lemon juice in this delicious combination, then your future looks better already. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next time.